Hi guys, this is Rita Lwade. How you all doing? I hope everybody's doing well and keeping safe. So, um, I did say in this February uh, videos that I'm doing, it's all going to be about, you know, lockdown Valentine, what you can do, what you can cook uh, at home, because this is a Valentine with a difference. I mean, we can go to those fancy holidays, pals, or uh, eating places to dine at and to do the fun things we normally would do during this time of year. So because I know that is going to happen, I want to be able to share some of my recipes that I think are lit, super lit. Uh, so even if you're going to be home with your kids and your, uh, your wife, your husband, something you can still cook at home and have fun. So today what am I cooking? Today I'm doing stir fry octopus. Ha! <laughs> this is a voila, beautiful, beautiful uh, meal I'm going to be doing. So uh, before I take you to the kitchen where I'll be showing you uh, step by step what I'm cooking, I want to say thank you to all my subscribers, uh, returning subscribers. I say thank you. I appreciate you so much. And if you're new, you're watching this video, please subscribe and also hit the notification bell each time uh, so that each time I'm on, you would know that something fabulous is happening. Okay, so let's go and cook. When you cook the octopus, the first thing you have to put a pan uh, of water uh, in, the, in the gas and the stove, what you're using. I like to boil and uh, if you'd like you'd put some salt some stock cubes in this case i kept some or uh, salt in the water uh, some stock cube i do understand there are people that don't like salt so it's entirely up to you but in this very particular video as you can see the water that i kept my octopus in i had salt in the water and I had stock cubes in the water so I put the octopus in that boiling water as you can see right now I'm just playing around with the octopus uh, before um, doing any other thing I just ensure that uh, it's getting cooked uh, that the water is coming inside every part of the octopus that's the main reason why I turn it now you can see that I have closed it uh, so that it can cook and this process will take you between uh, five to seven minutes it depends on you again if you like your octopus a little bit uh, hard obviously five minutes should be enough five to seven minutes but if you like it a little bit more tender I'm looking at uh, seven to ten minutes okay okay now you see the hot oil in my frying pan or wok as you would like to you know use whatever you like to use some will use pan some will use wok i'm using a mini wok here so i've gone i've diced my octopus i have sliced them into the piece the way i like it you can make it bigger you can make it smaller you can see i'm frying it now so in this particular instance you see the oil is a lot because i want it to be crisps you know i want it to be you know uh the way i like it so I'll fry it like this for a certain uh, amount of time and then what I would not do later which you will see as it progresses is that I would drain this oil out. I would drain it out of this particular wok so that I can fry it a little bit more.
okay now uh, you can see i've finished draining my octopus i've fried it a little bit i add all my ingredients remember it depends on you what you want but in this case i have uh, my uh, uh, my pepper i have my garlic i have my spring onions i have dark soya sauce i have a uh, rice uh, i have sorry fish sauce i have all my ingredients in it then i just fry it a little bit more and after i fry it a little bit more it's ready to be served this is the stir fried uh, octopus in this case I've served it with uh, uh, with salad uh, you can see in this uh, video it's served on a bed of rocket if you like this you know give it a thumbs up uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel do subscribe uh, before I forget I also served this uh, octopus and salad with uh, a white wine um dried wine actually and it goes really well you can try this you can actually have it with any wine um i hope you like this video uh give it a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed do subscribe hit the notification bell so that each time i have uh this type of fabulous meal you'll be the first to know have a lovely day bye bye